There's been a ton of confusion in the United States about what floor friction testing methods are valid and useful in determining the slip resistance of flooring. We are certified slip test experts here at Safety Direct America, and we endorse and use three different tribometers for measuring the dynamic coefficient of friction. Here we have two very different flooring candidates. The first is a smooth as glass, highly polished white marble, very slippery when wet. The other is this extremely rough dark granite, very anti-slip when wet. Now let's test them. This is the pendulum method, which is a national test standard in at least 49 nations. The slider is set up to travel across the flooring for 124 to 126 millimeters, which is approximately 5 inches. Push the button and we get a reading on the scale. Generally speaking, a pendulum test value of 36 is the minimum safety threshold. Here we get a 15 on the pendulum, which is telling us this tile is very slippery when wet. On the granite, we get 45, which equates to quite anti-slip. Now let's look at the tortoise tribometer. The minimum safety threshold for this test is 0.50. It says that the white polished marble is 27, very slippery. On the black granite we get 63, very anti-slip when wet. Our two test methods are in agreement. Now on to the newest tester, the BOT 3000. Its safety threshold is 0.43 wet. It has an official ANSI standard published in 2012, the B101.3. It's telling us that the white marble is 26 and the black granite is 55. All three instruments are telling us the same information about these tiles. Now let's check out the static coefficient of friction test, the ASTM C1028. On the black granite, it says 34 pounds, which is equal to an SCOF of 0.67 after we convert this number using the methods formula. But on the white marble, we get suction that is holding the rubber onto the piece of stone. So it doesn't budge until the suction is released. And then BAM! It flies towards the operator. This is saying that the white marble is 32 pounds, 0.63 after the conversion. This test is saying that both of these tiles are totally and equally safe for just about any use. All the test methods that measure static coefficient of friction are more often than not completely unreliable and downright misleading. There are a couple of dynamic test methods that are no good as well. The English XL and the Brungraber Mark II both had ASTM test methods at one time, but both were withdrawn for a very important reason for failure to include an approved precision statement. You see, they sent these machines out to many test labs along with identical tiles for the testing experts at these labs to measure with these instruments. Every lab came back with completely different answers using these two instruments on the very same tiles. We here at Safety Direct America can test your floors with either or all three of these test devices in our lab or on site at your location. And we can also sell you a test device. Visit us at safetydirectamerica.com and have a safe day.